Hot Potato Riff Number 1 The Toxic Race Hot Potato Riff. Everybody's talking about it. What is it? Story time. So about a couple weeks ago, I was hanging out with my friend Joey and we were trying to think of a concept of how to get our amazingly talented musician friends to work on music in a stress-free, fun, and kind of creative way. And we came up with this idea called Hot Potato Riff. So here's the basic idea. Someone writes a part, for example, I write a part on guitar, I send this to a drummer. From there, he sends me back the drum file, I send this to a bass player. Bass player lays down what they think the song needs, they send that back to me, and then I send it to someone else to lay down, let's say, vocals. They lay down vocals, they say whatever they want, they sing about whatever they want, they sing whatever melody they want, whatever they think fits the music, and then they send it back to me, and we compile the audio as well as the videos of everyone playing, we put it together, and we see what we created. So that is the basic idea. So this is kind of like a pilot episode of the first Hot Potato Riff. So let's jump into this one. I originally started by playing this guitar riff. Easy peasy. So from there, I sent that to my friend Joey, and then Joey laid down drums on it, and uh, he did an awesome job, laid down a really cool drum beat, and when I got the drums back, I realized that I waited too long to where self-doubt starts kicking in. So I thought the guitar riff was maybe too busy or too weird to have someone sing over it, so then I started chopping it up in Pro Tools, kind of playing the computer on my own guitar part, and it turned out to be something slightly different, not super different. I had my mangled guitar part and the drums, and I sent that to a bass player and a singer at the same time. Paul sends me a bass line. It's really cool. It makes perfect sense in context of the drums and guitar that I originally sent over to him. But when Megan eventually sent me her vocal part, I wasn't expecting her to lay down what she did, but I'm really like happy that she did because she changed the game. But when she did that, it kind of clashed with the original bass part because the bass player was playing without the context of the vocals. So I learned my lesson there. <laughs> Make sure to do it one step at a time. So I went through and I just kind of changed a couple notes on the bass in post. Again, not my original intention, but who cares? I'm really happy with how it came out. So without further ado, here is the first hot potato riff. What I think is very cool about this is that it's something that everyone can be involved in and I'm going to continue making this, let's call it video series, and kind of getting people that wouldn't normally play together to start collaborating and just see what happens. Not everything needs to be a home run or some sort of masterpiece, it's just a game to create manageably, stress-free, and to just have fun making music with other people. So if you want to be a part of a Hot Potato Riff video, I would love to engage anyone that watches these videos and kind of create a community around that. So let me know what you play in the comment section down below, and maybe down the road I'll kind of open up an email or something like that that you can kind of get in contact with and we can get creative. So I'm going to continue making these videos, I'm already working on number two and I'm really excited about it. So I I just want to say a quick thank you to Megan for singing, Paul for playing bass, Joey for playing drums. Yeah, again, I didn't really have too much of an idea of what I was doing and you guys made it really, really easy. 
So, uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Obviously, I think you guys are wildly talented, and that's why I wanted to do this with you guys first. So if you're watching this, I would uh, encourage you to go check out their, their social media links. Please go out and interact with them and uh, send them some love. And I think that's it for this verse video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the idea, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe you'll be in one of these in the future. And uh, yeah, let's keep on creating music and having fun doing so. And I will see you in the next video. What's up, nerds? Tonight I'm using the Focusrite interface with an SM58 mic because the Audio Technica USB mic that I've used for years, it has been popping uncontrollably. This has been doing a little bit less of that, so I'm just hoping that Corey will fix it all in post. Other than that, I'm using a wood plank and a candle to hold up this camera.